If you ever use letter spacing when you're writing code, you might have realized along the way that it's only adding the space to the right of the letters. Now, most of the time, it's really not an issue, but sometimes we have center aligned or right aligned text, and it just throws the whole thing off and causes a lot of problems like you can see right here. So we need a solution for that, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at how we can fix that with a really cool and simple SAS mix-in. Now this isn't my own idea, I got this from Wee Tittle, uh, who commented over on my brewery website when I was doing the code on that one where I ran into this issue uh, with the idea for this mix-in. So full props to him for this one. And effectively, uh, it's if you don't know about SAS, this is a nice little introduction to one of the things that's super useful about it, which is mix-ins. And what this does is, still with just one line of code, we can add our letter spacing, but also remove that space from it really really simply so first we're going to look at how we just do it uh, in general like how what the solution is without any sas and then we'll add in the sas after to see how we can do it and actually if you build this mix in it's faster than writing just the regular letter spacing line of code that you normally put so that's just really cool uh, so let's start that timer and let's get started Okay, so here we are in CodePen. You can see I've already sort of styled some stuff and put some things in here, but none of that's terribly important because the only thing we're really going to be focusing on here is the title, um, and it's just with my letter spacing that I have on here. So to show you the problem that comes up, um, if you have left-aligned text, you'll never see this issue. So if you're dealing with left-aligned only, you never have to worry about it. But um, if you're dealing with center-aligned text, you're going to see if I do center on there, this doesn't really look quite centered. This space here is a bit smaller than the space that we're getting on this side. And if I switch this over to right, we're really going to see the issue with, um, but what? <laughs> you can see it's really, really not lining up now. There's this really weird um, big issue that's happening with this big gap. The reason this is happening is um, the letter spacing I have on here, which is 30 pixels right now, it's adding 30 pixels to the right of every character. So if I turn this off for a second, um, and I select a letter, you can see that it's selecting the P like that, but when I turn that back on, the selection here is starting at the same spot, but it's added that spacing here. So when I select my G, um, it's lining up with the R because that 30 pixels is being added here. And that makes a lot of sense because most of the time you have left aligned text, so they want to add it to the right side. But as soon as you center your text or right align your text, it's going to cause these issues like this. The bigger the space, obviously, the more it stands out. But even if you have one or two pixels of letter spacing on it, this can really make something look out of whack with other things. Now, there's two ways we can fix it. We can either take away this extra space on the right, or we can um, add extra space to the left. But for center aligned text, either one will work. On right aligned text, though, adding more stuff here isn't going to do anything we're, we're, because we're still stuck with this on this side. Um, so taking away the space on the right it works for center aligned text and right aligned text so that's the one we're going to go with um, so here on my span where i have my letter spacing oops and i just realized i have it twice there um, so here where i have my letter spacing what i'm also going to do is add in a margin uh, right of the same value but in a negative negative. and you can see that sucks that over so this is still um, it, it is going to be sticking out the side there because that is a negative margin, but we're pulling it over to line it up with the rest. So we can do this, but you don't want to be writing that every single time, do you? Uh, letter spacing 30 pixels, margin right negative 30, then you're going to do it again with 15 and have to do it at another negative margin. Anytime you're using letter spacing, you don't want to have to be coming in and doing something like this. So luckily SAS can come to the rescue for us and we can make a mix in. And this is exactly the type of thing SAS is really handy for. So I'm going to come all the way to the top of this document. Normally I'd have my mix-ins in a separate one, but since we're in a code pen, um, I'm going to do a mix-in all the way at the top here called LS for letter spacing. And I'm going to write spacing here and do that. So what this is, is I'm creating a mix-in in SAS, so at mix-in. This is the name of my mix-in, and this is the argument that it's accepting. So I'm going to let it accept an argument called spacing. Now uh, what we can do is we can use that argument. So in here I'm going to put... Uh, letter spacing of spacing and I'm also going to do my margin right of negative spacing and now we can go ahead and do that so I'm going to come back down and let's use it now so we'll find where my letter spacing was so instead of writing two lines of code here I can write at include uh, ls for letter spacing and here I can just put in my 30 pixels 
and you can see it looks exactly the same. And if I change this to uh, 10 pixels, it's going to go to 10. And even if I change that down to one, whatever I'm putting here, it's going to be working, which is really, really uh, nice and handy. And if I come up and look at the view compiled CSS here, I can see if we go down far enough, um, right here, it's doing the letter spacing and the margin right. So anywhere that I'm using my uh, at include, it's just taking these two lines and whatever value I'm putting up here in the argument, it's spitting that out into these two spots right there. So it lets me write it in one line of CSS instead of two lines of CSS. Um, another really handy thing you can do is you could come up to here and you could actually give this a default. So I could say spacing is default is 30 pixels. And again, you'd probably be doing like a one or a two here. But that would mean I could come down and just say include letter spacing like that, and it's gonna default to that 30 pixels uh, because I gave it a default value for the argument. But if I wanted to overwrite it, I still can come and overwrite it with whatever value I want. So it's a default, but it doesn't mean it can't be overridden. So just writing include ls, it's gonna put the letter spacing that you wanted every single time, and then if you need to make changes to it, you can. And there we have it. That's it. Nice and simple and clean and just makes our lives really easy and fixes a problem that could crop up every now and then. So thank you to WeTill once again. This is definitely something I'll be using in my own code. So uh, it's nice to have a simple solution for problems like this. Um, now, if you're new to SAS and you've never used SAS, I am working on a course. It's not ready yet. Uh, hopefully soon I'm getting really close to doing... I'm working on the final segments of it. There is a link down in the description below to get on the waiting list for that course. Um, I'm also gonna be having more sassy videos or I'm gonna have like a, a short little series on the beginner stuff for SAS at one point as well. So you can look out for that if you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions or if there's other things you'd like to see done with SAS, leave a comment down below and let me know about it. As usual, a big thank you to my patrons for helping support this channel. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.